there are some men out there that have breasts larger than women. And before they get any larger, I'm gonna give you the keys to reducing your breast size and getting a real man chest. You're listening to the Modern Kings Podcast, your source of life-changing information for upgrading your lifestyle and unlocking your keys to success. Welcome to Modern Kings. What's happening, everybody? If you're new here, I am King Prime. I can be found at IamKingPrime.com. Welcome back to another episode of Modern Kings. Our mission here is to help you to make money, help you to look good, and help you to be fit. Today, we're talking about man boobs. That's right. You see them out there. Some of you may have them. Some of you may be on your way to getting them. You should not be in competition with your girl or your wife. So yeah, today we're gonna to be talking about getting rid of man boobs. The scientific name for man boobs is gynecomastia. And believe it or not, over 65% of middle-aged men have some sort of man boob sensation going on, or gynecomastia. Now I'm gonna be straight up with you. I have never had man boobs, but I have had no chest. So it's been effort to get here. And if you have man boobs, it's gonna be effort to get rid of them. But either way you look at it, I've built a quality chest and I want to show you how to have one as well. After all, you are a man and you should not be getting milked. So the practices that I'm gonna show you are gonna help you to get rid of those man boobs. But before we even get there, I'm gonna tell you why you have man boobs. How you're gonna get rid of the man boobs probably won't matter at all if you understand why you got them in the first place. And the reason you obtain those man boobs is because you're fat, you're overweight, and you're eating the wrong things. It is impossible to have man boobs if you're not fat and overeating. You will not be able to target that one area of your body and say, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of my man boobs and the rest is good. Losing weight does not work that way. So that's gonna be impossible too. But since we're talking about the fat, let's get right into it. First thing you need to do is focus on your fat loss. Your diet is out of whack, your caloric intake is way too high, and you're eating the wrong things. To lose fat, you've got to take in less calories. You've got to take in quality calories. I would suggest reducing your caloric intake down by at least somewhere from 15 to 25%. You also need a high protein diet. We're talking fish, eggs, and other lean meats. I would say be careful with the chicken. Make sure that the chicken is organic, that it's not pumped full of chemicals. This is gonna help you to preserve muscle while losing fat. Now you may ask, how do I track my caloric intake? Write down everything that you eat and add up the calorie amounts. One of my favorite apps to use for this is MyFitnessPal. That's gonna be a really, really good resource for you. Another reason why you have man boobs is you're eating a lot of processed foods. You have no idea what's in that food. You're just consuming, wrapping around the drive through grabbing whatever is convenient. You're grabbing the, the processed, prepackaged, easy and convenient stuff. Start making your own food. You can do snacks, you can do meal prep, and stick with the lean foods. You also want to reduce your alcohol consumption. That's a big part of what's adding weight to you as well. Did you know alcohol can increase estrogen levels? There you go. A high level of estrogen should be found in women and a high level of testosterone should be found in men. But because you drink so much, your estrogen levels are going up, hence the man boobs and the extra fat. So you want your hormones to be balanced and that means cutting back or significantly stopping the drinking. Now the next thing to do to get rid of man boobs is to do some strength training. Build muscle, burn fat. Now the movements that you want with your workout are compound movements. You want bench press, squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, things that work multiple parts of the body and burn more calories rather than isolated exercises. What is an isolated exercise? It's where you get your dumbbell and you're like doing a curl and you're just like doing this. That's not doing anything. Now, targeting the chest is very important, but you can also do full body workouts. Again, you're losing weight on your entire body. So don't frown up or run away from the full body workouts. Working your back, working your legs can also help to boost your metabolism and help to drop weight. And as the weight falls in the other parts of your body, it's gonna fall from your man boobs as well. Now let's focus on some chest specific workouts. You want bench press, dips, 
push-ups, chest flies, cable crossover, all of this is gonna focus on the outer pec area. You want to focus on the pectorials, right? That's gonna give you a good chest form, push-up, bench press, dips, cable crossover. All of those work tremendously to build and develop a great chest. Another thing that would be great to help you to lose weight and get rid of your man boobs is head training. If you don't know what HIT means, it stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And essentially what that is, is for you to be able to do a lot of work with a very small amount of rest. You want to do this two to three times a week and that will help you to drop a lot of weight as well. It's the perfect way to maximize fat burning. If you're serious about transforming your chest, join the conversation below and let me know what you have done, what you plan on doing in order to get rolling and make that progress happen. I'm so excited to see you put in the work and reach that goal. If you're still here, I would love it if you take a moment to smash that like button. You made me real happy by doing that. Also, wherever you're listening to this, Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, I would love it if you gave me a rating, a review of some sort so that other people can find this information. Let's keep rolling. The third thing that I want you to do is to boost testosterone naturally. Muhammad Ali said, I don't count reps. I only start to count the reps when it begins to hurt because that's when the real work starts. Now, that being said, this is gonna be work for you. Now, if I'm incorporating the natural testosterone, the more that you work, the more testosterone that your body will naturally build. And in order to have that testosterone to maximize itself, you've gotta get enough sleep. When you're not sleeping enough, you're lowering your testosterone. You should be getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep. For you that think that you're Gary Vaynerchuk or think that you're some type of superhero and you can function off of four to five hours of sleep, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't last. That little amount of sleep is increasing your cortisol, which is helping you to gain more weight and store more fat. Another reason why the fat is being stored and you're getting those man boobs is because you're not managing your stress well. How to manage your stress? Yoga, meditation, therapy, talking to someone, go on walks. A lot of you are stress eating and everything is just out of whack. And whatever happens on the inside, it reflects on the outside. You also have endocrine disruptors. Your body is meant to process certain things, certain foods, like natural foods, anything that's from the earth, when you're buying things with foreign objects and foreign ingredients that are challenging to be processed in your body, your endocrine system doesn't know how to process it. The body doesn't know what to do. It's like, it, it is out of whack and it confuses things. And that in the end turns around to an undesirable look and undesirable results. Because again, it is disrupting the hormone levels. It's taking your estrogen up when your estrogen should be down and the testosterone should be up. Now here's the fourth area that I have for you and that is consistency and patience. I know I've shared a lot here and I want to make sure that I drive this home. Be patient with yourself. It is bad enough that you feel however you feel. It's a struggle for you to get in and make the time, have the time, be disciplined and don't expect results within a day or two or a week or two. This is something that's gonna take a while to see results on. You didn't just get the man boobs overnight, so it's gonna take a while for them to revert back to what you had before. You've gotta stay committed. Consistency with your diet and your exercise plan is gonna be your biggest friend. You also need to track progress. You can measure yourself, you can weigh yourself, but do something to ensure that you're heading the right direction and let the small wins that you get every week continue to motivate you to go on to the next week and the next week and the next month. And don't worry about getting on the scale. Sometimes visual progress can be much more expiring than whatever the scale says. I want to challenge you to get one of your shirts. I'm sure you have a t-shirt that you like, but you don't like how it fits. I want you to start putting that t-shirt on at the end of every week and taking a picture and seeing how great you look in that shirt and how much better you begin to look in that shirt. It's not always about this, what the scale shows you and what the scale represents. 
It's about how you look when you look in the mirror, how you feel when you put those clothes on. And the last thing that I want to say is do not rule out professional help. If you're suffering from hormonal issues, man boobs, gynecomastia, you may need to consider a professional to help to get things back on track. You may have to see a dietitian. You may have to hire a trainer. Heck, you may have to get all three of them. And my question is how bad do you want it? If you found value in this video, I think you will find incredible value in this video above about building muscle over 40. Yes, it is possible. Yes, you can do it. Also another video on four essential tools for killer abs. Subscribe if you're not already. And until next time, look your best, do your best, and be your best. All right, make sure. And believe it or not, 60 for the first week, the next week, the next, the next. Write down everything that you eat and add up the tap. Sure that you're headed in the right direction. That you're headed in the right direction.